Hey, what's up guys, in this video we're breaking down the 5 best USB hubs for 2022 on the market, without further ado, let's get started. And by the way, links to all the featured products are given in the description below. At a time when we rely more and more on external keyboards, mice, memory keys, and all sorts of peripherals, new business computers short changes on the ports needed to use them. The typical new laptop has one, maybe two USB ports and nothing else. For everything you need to know about USB hubs, we've got you covered. Here are some of the best models on the market. The fifth product on our list, Sabrent 4 Port USB 3.0, most versatile. The Sabrent 4 Port Hub is for those who only want and need a simple USB hub that turns a single USB 3 port into four downstream outlets for anything from a mouse and keyboard to a printer or scanner to help run your small business. At less than the cost of a fast food meal for two, this hub is far from basic, however, with LED indicators that show which ports are active in moving data back and forth. Each port can be turned on and off by pressing a square button. Able to support speeds of up to 5 gigabits per second, the USB 3.0 hub is backward compatible to work with USB 1.1 and 2.0 systems 2 and accessories but can't charge or power accessories. The black plastic hub is 3.5 times 1.5 times 0.5 inches and has the flexibility needed to stash the hub under a desk or behind a desktop computer. It works with Windows, from Windows 2000 to Windows 10, Macs, Apple Mac OS 9.1 or newer, and Linux, version 2.4 or higher computers, making it one of the simplest, least expensive, yet versatile ways to add USB ports. The fourth product on our list, pluggable USB 2.0, most compact. If all you need is an extra USB port, then why go through the expense, hassle, and bulk of having a hub with a slew of ports that you'll never use? The pluggable USB 2.02 port hub, splitter is a one-trick pony that turns a single USB port into a pair of connections for anything from a memory key to a wireless keyboard and mouse set. Simple, basic, and self-powered, the pluggable USB 2.02 port hub, splitter is based on a powerful NEC USB chipset. Small and light, the black plastic hub, splitter is a 2 for that lets you share a single USB port with two devices that can run at a claimed top speed of 480 megabits per second. It can't handle the faster speeds of USB 3 or USB-C but has a 16-inch USB cable for plugging the device into a port-deficient computer. On the downside, the pluggable USB 2.02 port hub, splitter can't charge phones or power accessories. However, the hub includes a two-year warranty. The third product on our list, Amazon Basics 4 Port USB 3.0, most valuable. A great little feature Amazon has made their own is the power switching functionality they've added. With so many devices attached to your laptop battery, it can be easy to drain it inside an hour. By sensing the charge on each device and toggling between charging and self-powering, they seem to have struck a great balance in my opinion. The current limits on the outputs are also significantly important. If you end up drawing too much current you can drain your laptop battery or worse, damage your devices. 3.0 is no longer the future, it's the standard we recommend you stick to exclusively from now on. If you want your hub to stand the test of time, then it makes sense to go for the latest option the tech world has to offer. The second product on our list, Anker Power Expand 8 in 1, best quality. There are USB hubs with lots of ports, ones with video and networking, as well as ones that that can straddle the worlds of USB-C and USB 3.0 accessories. Only Anker's Power Expand 8 in 1 USB circa PD 10 gigabits per second data hub does it all in a small and light package that will enable you to do more for your small business from one laptop. The Power Expand 8 in 1 connects via a 7 inch USB C cable, turning the hub into connection central with two USB 3.1 and one USB C ports, an HDMI video capable of up to 4 Kelvin's resolution and a 60 Hz refresh rate. In addition to Ethernet networking, the 8 in 1 hub can also accommodate an SD and micro SD card from a camera or phone. A big bonus is that the hub tops out at a claimed data flow of 10 gigabits per second and can supply up to 85 watts for charging a phone, tablet, or laptop. It works with everything from a 6-year-old MacBook to any recent Windows 10 notebook, expanding a computer's single USB-C port into a multitude of connection choices. The first product on our list, Dell DAW 300, best overall, the Dell DAW 300 is one of the smallest and most portable USB-C hubs that I've seen, thanks to its circular shape and retractable cable. It features an HDMI port, a display port, a VGA port, an RJ45 Ethernet port, one USB Type-C port, and one USB 3.1 port. It doesn't have the largest number of ports, but its wide variety makes up for that. Overall, it's a great USB-C hub to take on the go, as long as you're okay with the price. T's also wonderfully portable, weighing just under 82 grams, and includes six ports in total which should cover most bases, namely, an HDMI port, a display port, a VGA port, an RJ45 Ethernet port, an USB Type-C port and an USB 3.1 port. Note that it doesn't offer pass-through charging, though, and there are no slots for SD and micro SD cards. Buyer's Guide. USB or USB-C data ports are only designed to connect accessories, not charge them, but some brands gloss over the difference or only mention it in the fine print. 
read the product specifications carefully, and assume if it doesn't mention charging, it's not designed for it. We tested each hub. Our tests included the following, Ethernet. A wired Ethernet connection is almost always faster than Wi-Fi and is more reliable, too. Most hubs with Ethernet ports support gigabit speeds, meaning data can transfer it up to 1000 megabits a second. For each model in the test group, we verified the connection speed in network utility on a Mac, which displays the maximum link speed. Note that unless you have reliable gigabit Ethernet service, you won't be able to measure if the port is actually performing at full speed. SD card. Photo and video files can be quite large, so with a fast SD card transfer rate you won't have to wait around to import a day's worth of shots from your card. Since SD cards are less commonly used than USB ports these days, this feature isn't as important. Top speed. When shopping, look for a hub that tops out at a claimed minimum of 10 gigabits per second. Chances are that you'll never need this speed, but it's good to know that it's there as a potential option. Mac connection. Based on the two USB-C port design of recent Apple MacBooks, there are several hubs that plug right into the side of the notebook. This gets rid of the messy connection cable and delivers a sleeker look. Heat. Because hubs and adapters can get hot during use, especially, judging from our experience, when Ethernet is in use, we also measured the temperatures of our picks with an infrared thermometer after 15 minutes of continuous data and Ethernet use to make sure they weren't dangerously hot. When shopping for a USB hub to help your small business, your biggest decision is likely whether to get a USB 3.0 or USB-C hub.1 Both are available in a wide variety of models, but the former is for older computers. These port hubs are less expensive. The latter is for newer computers. The hubs can cost more but can perform more tasks. Thanks for watching, and that's all for this video. If you like this video and it helped you out in any way, please give the video a like and hit that subscribe button. Take a moment to hit the bell icon so you'll get notified of all our new latest uploads. Hope to see you guys in the next video till next time I'll see you later.